the moon is such a familiar yellowish white ball, and sometimes a crescent moon, which can be observed in the sky on a cloudless night. And it is also a huge stone ball revolving around our planet at a breakneck speed, and it is he who creates ebb and flow on the surface of the Earth. One of the theories of the formation of the moon says that once the Earth collided with another planet, and a ring was formed around the Earth from the debris of this planet, which then formed into the moon. Greetings to all, this is the interesting channel, and here are some interesting facts about the moon. The moon always faces the Earth with the same side. The distance from the Earth to the moon is 384,000 kilometers. In 1969, humanity, represented by American astronaut Neil Armstrong, first set foot on the moon. The mass of the lunar crust is no more than 4% of the total mass. For comparison, the mass of the Earth's crust is up to a third of the entire mass of our planet. From the surface of the Earth, the Moon and the Sun visually have the same size. Due to the lack of atmosphere, the night on the Moon comes instantly. There is no twilight. There is a monument to the fallen cosmonauts on the Moon. It is a 10 cm tall aluminum figurine depicting a man in a spacesuit. The Moon's average diameter is 3475 km. It ranks fifth in the list of the largest satellites in the solar system. Only Ganymede, Titan, Callisto, and Io are larger than it. The mass of the Moon is 81 times less than the mass of the Earth, its volume is almost 50 times less. Thanks to the libration effect, 59% of the lunar surface can be seen from Earth. The Moon seems to us to be a very bright body. But in fact, the reflectivity of its surface is only 13%, which is almost three times less than the albedo of the Earth. Therefore, in their joint photographs, the brightness of the Moon is often deliberately increased. Over 40% of the visible site of the Moon is occupied by seas, dark low-lying areas covered with solidified lava deposits. The Moon has no magnetic field right now. However, the analysis of samples of the lunar soil showed that in the distant past it had its own magnetic field, which even surpassed the strength of the Earth. The first living creatures to fly round the Moon were the Central Asian steppe turtles aboard the Soviet Probe 5 spacecraft launched on September 15, 1968. The Moon is moving away from our planet at a speed of about 3.8 cm per year. After about 600 million years, its apparent size in the sky will decrease, so much that it will make it impossible to observe total solar eclipses from Earth. There is a theory asserting that life on Earth was able to originate precisely due to the presence of a satellite, which exerts its gravitational influence. The Moon is recognized as an international territory, where any military operations are prohibited. Also, the Moon cannot be anyone's property. The Apollo 17 astronauts faced an unexpected problem. Moon dust clogged equipment, causing it to malfunction, ruining suits and causing moon hay fever among the crew. The danger of moon dust is that, with its tiny size, 50 times smaller than the diameter of a human hair, it has very sharp edges, because there are no winds or rains on the moon to smooth them out. It also penetrates deeply into the lungs. Due to the low gravity, the particles hang in the air for longer, creating whole clouds of sharp fragments, and on the surface the layer of dust reaches 15 centimeters. Astronauts say that inside the ship this dust smells like gunpowder. Today, scientists have taken up the study of dust in order to assess the level of its hazard and toxicity. Another unexpected problem that astronauts faced when landing on the moon. Due to the lack of atmosphere, the shadow on the moon is completely black. Astronauts ceased to see their legs, stepping into the shadows, they could not perform many of the work on the ship's maintenance, because in the shadows they did not see what their hands were doing. The only person buried on the moon is Eugene Shoemaker, geologist, planetary scientist, founder of astrogeology, 